Welcome back to the channel and today we are continuing on with the airborne expansion heading into the center of the map apparently to this chirpo right here uh, but before we get there I actually noticed that there is a uh, power core over here that I want to get on the way and also apparently if I look up there is a special secret area up in the sky if I just fly straight up. So I kind of want to check that out. A lot of the comments, nearly every comment on the last video was pointing that out. So I think I got the hint that you guys want me to go fly up in the sky and see what's up there. Um, but first, let me find this power core, which I think is somewhere over here. There's a treasure chest up there. I don't really need gold, though. I need power cores. So let's get that power core. It would help if I actually got a little bit closer, I guess, wouldn't it? There we go. Expert flying by Scrapman after failing. All right, now let's just go straight up to these islands. Is it, is it these islands? Are these the ones that you guys are talking about? Are there more? I don't see it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that big mountain over there up in the clouds. I really need to put some more thrust on this thing. In the last episode, we unlocked the rocket launchers. So I added some rocket launchers onto this as well. We also have bombs that I can drop. We got a mini gun and some smart cannons. And I think that's pretty much all the weaponry. But I could definitely use some more thrust. All right, what do we got up here? Uh, whole lot of green. Okay, I was told there would be parts. Oh wait, do I gotta, do I gotta keep going? Is it up here? Okay, still some more green. Is this where the secret parts are? Okay, still, still some, oh my, okay, oh, there's more apparently. Are, this, is this, are these breadcrumbs? Are these little islands just breadcrumbs leading me higher and higher? How high does it go? Oh, that's a lot of islands up there, okay. All right, these were just little breadcrumbs leading me up here. This is so many islands. Is there a chirpo up here? Whoa, oh, sky changed colors. Seeing any treasure chests around here? Oh yeah, I see some treasure chests. Entering Cloud Kingdom. It is peaceful here, apparently. All right, let's see how many treasure chests I can pick up before I die. Actually, I'm gonna land first, because if I die right now, I respawn back to the last place I was on the ground. So let me just come in for a landing here. There we go, that was a pretty nice landing, wasn't it? All right, I'll just run on into this, and we have Tube one by eight. The longest tube there is is the first one that I find. So I'm gonna go around. Oh, there's more up there too. I'm gonna go around and collect all these things. All right. How many can I get without dying? Wait, a tube double cross. Oh, the, the colors of it confused me. I was like, I haven't seen that piece before. Oh boy. I don't think I can fit in there. So I'm just gonna land and then break. There we go. Cone. Oh, cone is actually nice too. All right, what is this one gonna be? Tube slope, that's gonna be handy. That's actually one of the ones I wanted to put on on my plane. Let's do a flyby on this one next. That is cone, a one by one by two. I think that's a new one. I think that's a super steep cone. Very pointy, very sharp. People are gonna use that for aesthetics in some non-plane builds, I'm sure. Uh, tube T cross. What about this one? I'm doing good here. Cylinder one by one by two. All right, and two, another tube slope. Good, the tube slopes are actually the ones I want. All right, can I get it? Yeah, tube double T. I, have to, I don't think I've really actually looked at the names of these in like ever. So seeing these names is kind of weird. Oh, I missed that one. I was doing so well. All right, here we go. Oh, almost hit that tube elbow. That's another really useful one actually. All right, what about on this island? Just a couple here. These landing flaps are so useful. Tube one by four. That's actually a really good one. Oh, these trees are going to mess me up, aren't they? Unless I just land. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, look at that. That was some good flying. I was not expecting to get out of that alive. There we go. Tube one by three. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Dang it. Finally died. I got a lot before I died, though. I'd see now I spawned here. What are you? Tube cross. Okay. Oh, this tree's gonna get me. Whoa! Did I go through the tree? Tube double elbow. Okay, there's gotta be some more. And tube one by one. Another extremely useful one as far as tubes go. And oh my goodness, look at this. What are these going to be? I think I'm just gonna get out and walk on these ones. 
There we go. Concrete? Oh, these are gonna be all the dispensers, aren't there? Imagine using a concrete wall dispenser or a snowball dispenser uh, to destroy a plane. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know if we'll take damage from that. Dice dispenser, metal block dispenser, beach ball dispenser. Okay, did I, I think I may have got, oh no, there's still something showing up. There it is on the very, very tiny little island all the way at the top here. All right, and what do we got? Spaceship cockpit. Oh, I wasn't expecting another cockpit. All right, are there more up here? This one actually might be up here, but way, way, way down. I see, you're hiding back here. And you are cone two by two by one. All right, I think that's all of it. Look, nothing else is showing up here. So before I dive down, I'm gonna dive all the way down on top of uh, on top of this chirpo. I am directly above the chirpo, I'm just realizing. So before I dive down, let me add some more thrust to this thing. All right, I just added two more mini thrusters. It's not a lot, but it's gonna be more, more than I had at least. So here we go, diving down, <laughs> straight down onto this chirpo. We're diving like right down where that peak of that mountain is too. Oh man, if I crash, I'm spawning all the way back up there too. You know what, let me go this way a little bit. This is gonna be an interesting approach for a landing. This is gonna be a really interesting approach for a landing, but I'm here for it. I think I'm safe. I'm just gonna glide at this point. I like this runway placement. There we go, flaps, landing flaps enabled, uh oh. And look at that landing. Okay, this is a pretty big town, isn't it? Glad to see you made it this far. Who are you? What's your name? I'm Chrono, the mayor of Eggwall. That's an interesting name for a town, Eggwall. As you can see, we've been hit hard by the pirates. Our central position has made us a prime target. If you can defeat the pirates here, they would lose a key position. I'm afraid that some of my chirpos have ignored my warnings, those pesky chirpos. They flew out in the night, but got shot down by pirate flat cannons. Oh boy, we got more flat cannons coming at us. Now they're stranded on a remote cliff. Let's go rescue them. Is that, is that everything? All right, that's everything. Let's do it. Get rid of these guys. Look at that, so much firepower. Oh yeah, these guys actually take missiles and or bombs. Look at that, two, two in one pass. Okay, oh boy, we got actually, we got a lot of flat cannons around here. Oh, we got that one underneath me. We got this one over here. Let's go ahead and shoot the missiles at those. The missiles are so great for the anti-air, the flat cannons. Okay. Oh man, missiles are just overpowered when it comes to the flat cannons. Some of these guys out. All right, I actually think I'm almost ready to land. Let me just take this. Let me take out some of these balloons here and this guy. Uh oh, oh, I missed. I missed that time. I got confused with my aiming reticle. I was aiming at too many things. There we go. That should be a hit. That was not a hit. <gasps> Am I gonna have to do this manual style and do a bombing run? Got to make sure it's a nice stable lock before I uh, fire. Got those guys down. Just wanna make sure that the chirpos are not gonna get shot at. Whoa. Whoa. This plane's feeling pretty good though, pretty agile. I think the extra thrust is also helping. All right, we got a couple more balloons over here hiding inside the valley. And another AA gun actually. I might wanna take care of the AA gun too. Here we go. Nice lock, perfect. Ooh, you know what, I'll take care of this one as well. Oh, what, that missed? Wait, this one's alive too, wait, was this not the one I just got? Well, now it's dead. There we go. All right, I think those guys are far enough away that they're not gonna bother the chirpos. I think I've cleared the area pretty well. So let's come in for a landing, landing flaps activated. There we go. Do it a little bit more speed than this. All right, perfect. How many? 24 passengers. I think I can accommodate that. All right, but you know what? I uh, I do want to change this because this is a terrible vehicle right now. I kind of want to use the helicopter parts and make like a passenger helicopter, like a big Chinook style helicopter with uh, 32 seats because 
I saw in the comments that apparently I should plan for 32, which I guess is hinting at later on, 24 is not going to be the standard anymore. So after I drop these guys off, I'm going to build a new vehicle. And I get to use the new helicopter parts too. There you go. Two by one shield unlocked. Interesting. And two, oh, all the shields. We're going to get all the shields. Two by two shield and the two by four shield. Excellent. All right, now what are the chirpos done? Cave rescue? <gasps> I just received a radio transmission from a crew of lost chirpos. I might need to see how big this cave is before I build a helicopter. They're hiding out in a cave to avoid pirate detection. Because now I need to get something that can carry all the chirpos and fit in the cave. Go find them before the pirates do. Okay, so let's get rid of the threats first. My handy dandy war biplane. All right, I see anti-air right here. You should be dead. Good. I'm actually gonna bomb this guy. Just drop. Oh! Don't worry. I'm good. Don't worry. I'm fine. Perfectly fine. This is perfectly normal. I cannot believe how much damage I took. I got completely decimated there. All right. Another one down. What else did we got over here? Was there? Wasn't there another AA? There you are. I'm coming for you. All right. Did they hit? Oh, they did not hit. Oh, there's another one over here. I'll get a little bit closer. Man, these are uh, these missiles aren't as reliable as I thought on stationary targets. Sometimes they just don't hit. That one looks good. There we go. All right, one more. How's that looking? Perfect. Perfect hit. Okay, is that everybody? Now, what is this chirpo situation looking like as far as the size of this cave? Is it a top down? Or are they coming from the top? Because if so, the helicopter is going to be perfect. Oh yeah, look at that. Wait, there must be a side entrance too. Probably down there. Yeah, I think a top down approach might be good though. Let me get a feel for how big this is. That actually doesn't. That actually looks like a decent amount of space. I think my helicopter idea is still viable. Uh oh. I'm fine. This is fine. Okay, time to build a new vehicle. Oh my goodness, I have new parts everywhere now. Okay, so these long helicopter blades are a new thing, and I believe I also have the helicopter engine. Yeah, the stackable helicopter engine is really good. So I have no idea how much lift these blades are going to have, but they look massive compared to what I'm used to building with. Just for context, this is the size of the old helicopter blades that was the only choice that we had. So they're like, I think they're literally double the length. Yeah, look at that, double the length. All right, so this is what I'm building off of. You know, I could probably use this new uh, this new cockpit here, but I am gonna have to fit 32 seats. So let me see what 32 seats looks like. 32 passenger seats. I might only have room for like two by two like that if I want this helicopter. Well, I might be able to do, I might be able to widen it out to like three. Man, these seats are 10 kilograms each. <sighs> no wonder why they add so much weight. All right, 24, 27, 30. I need 32. This is so many seats. There we go, 32 seats. So this is essentially what I need to make fly. This is insanity. You know, I also got a new part, the airplane window, which I don't know if this is gonna look good from like a helicopter perspective. Could be kind of fun. There we go, everybody gets a window. I really hope these blades are gonna have as much lift as they look like they're gonna have because I am going to need a ton of lift on this thing. So for the other blade, so it doesn't conflict, I'm gonna raise it up by two blocks and that way I can actually overlap it with the blade. Man, look at how big these are. I think this can work though. One thing I just realized, I gotta think about control surfaces. How am I going to yaw and pitch and roll and all that? We're dealing with a helicopter now. All right, this thing is not finished by any means yet, but I think it's at least intact and I wanna see how much lift it has compared to its weight right now. If I uh, activate these, oh, I did not reverse the propellers yet. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Okay, so far, uh, it seems like they have a lot of lift. I think it's going to be enough. It's just right now my mass is way far forward. Okay, I filled out the tail finally, but we still have the issue of our center of mass and our center of lift are way out of whack. But I'm thinking I'm going to add, we are at 588 kilograms total right now. So if I go into the weight and I add a 50 kilogram weight right to the back here, that doesn't do a lot. Um, but I could do a couple. 
How about now? We're getting there. I could also potentially bring this whole thing uh, forward a little bit. Okay, now we're getting there. But here's another thing I need is uh, I want some forward thrust as well. So I'm going to add some dragon jet engines to the back of this thing like this. And that is actually going to align my center of lift and my center of ma uh, mass. So let's see how this thing feels now. Oh boy. It's not a whole lot of lift. And, but it does look like my seat controls are enough for my pitch. So I might not actually have to program pitch into this thing. But I will have to program roll or uh, yaw somehow. But this isn't feeling too bad right now. Okay, I might need to add some artificial assistance here by going inside my vehicle. Don't worry, Chirpos. Uh, this, is, this isn't going to be that bad, all right? And I'm going to add some mini thrusters facing upwards. And I'm going to use an altitude sensor to trigger those mini thrusters to always be on. So they're just going to be canceling out some of my weight in there, which should allow me to get up and down much easier. All right, now let's add some uh, weaponry to this thing because we are going to have to be able to defend ourselves. I still have plenty of power cores left, 20 out of 39. So definitely going to want some rocket launchers on this. This might actually be a great place for some rocket launchers. Hopefully, they're not going to be so far back that they can shoot at me. No, that actually looks pretty decent. All right, then I'm going to add a minigun to the bottom of this thing. Had to cut out a little bit of a space here. All right, I feel like that should be good. How's this looking? This is looking pretty good so far, I think. Yeah, lifts up, no problem. Look at that shooting. Cool. I'm just going to have to get used to the fact that uh, space is not to go up. It is to go forward and shift is uh, to go up. Now, I do not have yaw control right now. So I think I'm actually going to use the helicopter engine, another helicopter engine inside. And this is going to act as my yaw. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we got some yaw. All right, and now I want to use an angle sensor, and I want to have some roll stability. Okay, so now, when I roll to the left, or to the right, you can see that it keeps me level. There's a little bit of a rocking action happening. So, I think I'm pretty much good to go. If anything, I could use a little bit... My, uh, my seat control isn't very, very strong when it comes to the pitch, so I think I am going to add... Oh, I'm almost actually, I'm getting up there in my power cores. The gun's actually out of the lot. So I think I'm going to add just one more helicopter engine for my pitch. There we go. Now my pitch is much stronger. All right, let's see if we can pick up these chirpos with this thing. I'll have to add a paint job at some point. I'm all, I never know what to do with the paint jobs. But uh, let's hope that I can at least get down and fly this thing effectively. Okay, here we go. This is actually going to be kind of tough, isn't it? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this is going to be real tough. Oh, you know what? I am just realizing not having... Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is so much harder than I was expecting. But not having an actual roll control is going to make it hard to, uh, to strafe. But somehow, somehow I'm doing this right now. I'm actually doing this right now. Coming in for the landing. Look at that. All right, hop on in, Chirpos. Look at that, we got a full pack. Well, actually, it's not even full. I have more seats than I need. All right, just hope we can get safely out of this narrow cave. Ha, huh, me too. Me too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is actually looking good. This is actually looking good. I cannot believe I just did that first try without crashing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing actually isn't too bad. This is actually a pretty good helicopter. I'm pretty proud of this. I like what I built. I built a passenger Chinook, and it actually does feel mildly more controllable than my wonky uh, inflatable balloon airship. And there we go, in for the landing. All right, I actually don't even think I need the thrusters, to be honest. The pirate nest. Some of my scouts tried to fly for help. Unfortunately, the pirate shot them right out of the sky. Well, what else is new? <laughs> I need you to rescue the Chirpos. Watch out, they crashed right in the middle of a pirate fortification. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm definitely not going to be using my helicopter until uh, it is passenger time. Let me apply a paint job to this thing. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. All right, I went with something simple and did this weird faded black stripe pattern. Uh, so let's just stick with this. All right, now that we have a new passenger vehicle, uh, let's switch back to our biplane for battle mode. It is time to save these chirpos. And oh boy, that's a lot of red balloons. Okay, I also hear a flat cannon behind me. 
Let's go ahead and use the... Oh, okay. The missiles. Two missiles are not enough to just take out one of these red balloons. I'll start using my uh, weapons as well. Come on. Oh, it has a sliver. A tiny sliver of health left. Okay. There we go. That one's done. Come on. All right. Shoot that one. Drop my bombs. There we go. If I do a bomb pass on it, it's fine. Oh, I missed. I was totally out of control there. All right. Oh, oh, there's flat. There's still flat cannons around here, too. Let's get this guy. There we go. All right. I'm definitely going to have to repair soon, but this guy is on the verge of dying here, especially with those missiles. There we are. Okay, I think... I actually think all of the major threats are gone. There we go. Two more left. I don't actually see any uh, anti-air turrets around here. I thought I was getting shot by one, but I guess not. Is that everything? There's nobody else? Oh, oh, there's one. There is one. Okay. Here we go. All right, mirror projectiles won't do any good. Well, how about the rocket launchers? You don't look too good no more. All right, and even though I'm pretty confident this one is not a threat to me at all. Oh, look at that. There's a skeleton down there. Yeah, even though I'm pretty confident this one's not a threat to me at all, I'm just gonna take it out just in case. I don't know why I keep shooting at it with my uh, machine guns. All right, now let's transition into the helicopter and pick up these chirpos. All right, coming in for the landing. Here we are. Hop on in, Chirpos. Need to get home and tell my eggs I love them. Is this the Chirpo breeding grounds? Is that why they call it the egg wall? I guess that actually makes sense. It's probably where they keep all their eggs, huh? Oh yeah, this thing actually flies pretty fast. Look at that. We're at 160 kilometers an hour. This isn't bad. And there we go. Tank cannon unlocked. Don't know if that's too useful compared to everything else we have now. Could you help me out? All right, you still have another mission here, huh? What's the last one gonna be? Cloud Prison, rescue the Chirpos. I can't believe the cruelty of those pirates. They have imprisoned a group of Chirpos at the highest point in the world. Okay, is that way up there? The Chirpos are being guarded by a squad of pirate dogfighters. Ooh, we got a dogfight coming up. Take care of the pirates before you rescue, rescue those poor Chirpos. All right, it's a plan. That's what I got my biplane for. All right, off we go. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm excited for some dog fighting. This plane has so much more power now, flying just straight up. Whoa, that's a lot of planes. Usually they were in groups of three. I wonder how picking these guys up is gonna go. Is my helicopter gonna be able to maneuver up here? All right, well, one down. Let's do a quick maneuver here. Another one down. I got some good firepower. Able to make quick work of these guys, as long as I get a good lock. There we go. Come on. There we go. Man, I'm just shredding these guys. Okay, I, I should add a rear cannon to this thing, shouldn't I? And there we go. Is that all of them already? I'm curious what the, uh, there's, there's definitely a pirate area. I'm curious what that area is gonna be like. All right, let's switch over to helicopter now. I love the transform feature. It's really cool. All right, let's see if we can have a nice controlled approach. This is not a nice controlled approach. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Hold on, I got, <gasps> I don't have a repair. I don't have a repair right now. Oh, I have to wait so much. I guess the transform counts as a repair. I guess that makes sense. It, it would be kind of cheating otherwise. Wait, does that mean I can't, I can't transform right now either. All right, I just got to maintain this until my repair comes through. Okay, come on. I've gained control somehow. I don't know how, but I've, I've somehow gained control and steadied my uh, altitude a little bit. Whew, lost a fraction of my propellers, but uh, managed to pull out alive. All right, now let's get back up here. I actually saw a power core right on top of this uh, little plateau here. Okay, and look at that, no problem. All right, let's be a little bit more cautious this time. Oh, it looks like approaching from this side is actually a lot easier. There's a piece of land sticking out. Okay, let's do this. Here I come, little chirpos. Nice and controlled. Look at that, not bad. All right, stop, 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 stop. I need more passenger seats? 
32 passenger seats. I have 32 passenger seats. This thing has 32 passenger seats. What are you talking about? I promise, I put 32 passenger seats in here, didn't I? 30? What? I could have sworn I had 32. What? Oh no, I deleted two of them accidentally while I was building. Yeah, I deleted, there were two right here and I deleted them to make room for the minigun, not realizing they were passenger seats. I thought they were just square blocks. All right, I'll 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 have to put this minigun lower then, and I'll put those passenger seats back in here then. All right, that's not so bad, I don't think. All right, come on aboard. There we go, 32 chirpos. That's what I built this helicopter for. All right, they're not too fond of heights. Well, don't worry about it. I'll have a nice controlled descent. Oh, this is fine. Everything is fine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <gasps> Don't worry about that. Don't just ignore that noise. I, I've only lost one, one blade. I've recovered from worse, okay? It, just ignore the vibrations. It's just like, you know, like rocking a cradle. It's gonna rock you to sleep. Just relax, calm down, and uh, do not panic. Your captain is perfectly in control of everything. This is fine. <laughs> And a taxi on over to this circle over here. There we go. We've done it. That was an impressive display. I know, right? I have more than earned this. The Maze Valley slice of the ancient weapon. Is that all of them? Did I get all of them? Blueprint available. Chrono Skylift. Now that is a uh that's a that's an airship. Thanks for getting those chirpos back down alive. You're welcome. Now, oh fantastic work, Trailmaker. I have acquired all the slices of the ancient weapon. That is the last slice. Okay. Me and the other mayors have gathered in the destroyed town of Old Reach near Pirate's Peak. Meet us there when you're ready to face the pirate mothership. Where's the fathership? I never really hear anything about the fathership. You think it's a single mothership? That's kind of sad if it's just a single mothership. All right, but uh, it does look like we have a couple of little things of treasure around here. So let's get some treasure. Small porthole. Okay. There we go. I got the power core. Let's get out. Let's get out of here. Coming in. There we go. A little bit rough of a landing, but I think I survived. Ski unlocked. Not the most useful pieces. Nailed it. Not, okay. All right, repair, repair. Oh, oh. I, didn't, I was actually so distracted by everything, I didn't even see what that was. There we go. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Ship's wheel. Oh, looks like there's a little hidden area down there. Go, oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Look at that. Perfectly fine. What is this? All right, well, I got the power core. Now I just got to get out of here. Yeah, there's like no other way in here either. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is hard. You know what? Why don't we just respawn right up here? How about that? Make this is the easy way. But apparently there's a treasure chest somewhere down here. All right, I'm back down here. Oh, oh repair, repair. Whoa, what am I do- I'm sliding all over the place. Like, it's like ice down here. Yeah, I'm on the same level as the treasure chest, but it looks like it is in- I don't know. It's in this direction? This is weird. It says the treasure chest is right in front of me, one meter above me. Like, I'm on the same level as it. I can hear it. Hear it? Wait, how? Hold on, how? How do I get over there? Is there another way? Yeah, there's no way. I, I see no alternate entrance into that. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get that treasure chest. All right, well, I'm gonna leave that one behind then. And there we go, a paddle. What do we need a paddle for in the desert? Anything that's gonna be useful? Large paddle, interesting. It seems like when they show up on the map, they like lead me to related parts, like the next logical part. All right, got that one, no problem. Okay, what's this one gonna be? Oh, I'm getting shot at, ow. Hover block, ooh, that's interesting. Kind of forgot about that block for a little bit. Okay, I think that is actually everything that I know how to get to. I cannot figure out how to get to that crate. So um, I'm just gonna leave that one behind for now and see if the comments have, are familiar with that crate. It seems to be stuck in that ditch, but behind a wall that I cannot get behind. And what do you think you're doing, mister? There we go, I fired my missiles at him and they actually hit. Okay, so up next, we gotta go over to that area, which is um, this l isolated runway way out here, the final fight. So I think the final fight is going to happen in a final episode that you should be subscribed for so that you don't miss. 
So if you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.